that, so uh, stick with me. First off, I don't think that they can do a true, like, For Honor 2 exactly the way they try to do this game, for instance. So if they did choose a different time period, if we had, um, like, Egyptian warriors, um, we have an actual just full Roman um, cast rather than just having two Romans here. Um, I'm trying to think of... There are other um, civilizations they could do, um, the Mongols, something like that. Obviously, they could try to keep it in a tighter frame, or they could go further, and they could do, like, a Renaissance style and uh, theme to it. But I don't think it'll change the formula, is the reason that I don't think they'll end up doing it. Because with the way they've designed these characters, it's very similar to Rainbow Six Siege, where every character is designed to do their kind of thing. Yes, there's overlap, obviously. We have Warden and War Mommy that... Up until Warden's change were basically the same character, except one could dodge back and then go into the uh, <clears throat> the bash. So I think if they tried to make For Honor 2 with the same style and the same rules, I don't think it would end up... I think people would still buy it and people would still play it because the characters will look different. It'll all be new, but I think eventually it'll wear down similar to like... A Dark Souls to a Dark Souls 2 where it's similar. I guess that's a bad one because Dark Souls 2 was bad. But I feel like this will just weigh it down, you know? I think it'll they'll end up using the same archetypes. They'll end up using the same type of moves. It'll just look slightly different. And I don't think that's really what we should push for as a For Honor 2. So, my opinion with For Honor 2, and don't fucking kill me in the comments, okay? If I get comments, that is. Is that maybe they should go more into the realm of fantasy. They've kind of been doing that recently with some of the, um... With some characters, like... Shaolin has certain executions that allow him to do all kinds of stuff. Tiendi has a dodge that's... I don't even know, like, if you actually watch the way he does the dodge, it makes no fucking sense. Um, but some of these characters have, like, a mystical feel to them. Shigoki gets his health back. Shaman has always been kind of a mystic-type character-type thing going on. I think they should just fully embrace it and go, you know, Dungeons & Dragons style on it and actually make archetype type of characters where instead of having all of these characters right all of these um heroes that you can go through they can have the same level up style and system and all that with the reps and all that but maybe you know if you like choose a certain knight you could change out the armor and the armor determines how fast they are how he uh, how much health they have so if you choose like a lawbringer style of armor you're slower but you take hits like like nothing you know and then if you go to something smaller you'd have you know medium movement medium speed and then so on and so forth until you're at like you know full speed type of thing right and then you could you know equip a shield if you, that's what you want where you can do certain things i i know this goes away from the typical for honor formula and the way they were doing it but they don't have to do it exactly like that. I mean that they could have the same type of archetypes that they have here, but they could make it a more fantastical way, in a way. So, if you look at Dark Souls 1, there are certain weapons that have unique abilities where they can shoot like a shockwave or something, but in Dark Souls 3, there are certain great swords where you do like two swings, and then the third one, you can like flail through the air and then do a massive slam on the ground. What if they had something similar where it's not just, you know, oh, I threw a top heavy and it's just a normal swing. What if it is the same combat, but everything has a more fantasy feel. The armor can be more fantasy. And obviously they could do something where it looks more realistic for all the people that actually like really, really care about it. But I gave up on that train a while ago. Um, maybe year one and two, I, I was like, hey... We should get more realism in here. And then, you know, they just kept adding more and more crazy shit. So I just said, fuck it. And I stopped caring. Um, but I, I don't think that they should do less in the second game. And what I mean by less is, is where they start, you know, going with the knockoffs here. Where we have, you know, like, 
this kind of stuff where everyone has the same execution. I want character unique type executions and stuff like that. I don't think we need as many emotes as this game has. Obviously, it's a way to get people to uh, spend more money. Obviously, that's you know they can do that if they want. Um, they can still have the signatures. They can still have effects. All the characters can still have their you know usual feats and stuff like that. So it's a very similar game, same kind of aesthetic. I do think they should re-add the uh, tournament style of play where you can get um, different ornaments based on how high you place and stuff like that per season. I think that'd be really cool. Kind of like again, again, Rainbow Six has the different colors and stuff like that, or they glow, they move based on what rank you hit. I think that'd be really cool. One other thing is they've already added a lot of these colors here. I just want them to actually make it to the base game of a, of a second game. I don't want it to be so limited in the in the uh, style and I think they also should have it where it's usage here where you can you know change it around what if I want a black helmet with red arms why can't I do something like that which I think they they definitely should have done in this game a little bit more um, but basically what I'm trying to get at is if they're going to make another game I don't think they're going to be able to truly make it unique compared to this one which is why they're hesitant but I want to get the point across that if they do try to make another game, I think they're either going to have to go a little further back in time, forward in time, or they're going to have to go into a fantasy setting. And for me personally, with where we're sitting, a fantasy setting makes a lot more sense to me. Because in terms of what sells and what um, you know makes them good money, it's the crazy, fancy, just crazy over the top type stuff um obviously there are people that care about you know looking authentic they want the armor to look look better but even the move lists don't make any sense warden has no stabbing motions he doesn't you know use the hilt in any attacks he doesn't really half sword i mean like he's not using a normal long swordsman style and Lawbringer is similar where he should be using the hammer on the other end for certain armored opponents or the slash. He should be stabbing them and stuff. Like, he does it on occasion, but he doesn't truly ever do it the way you would expect to see it in real life. And as far as Conqueror is concerned, Flails, as far as my research has shown, were just useless. Like, yeah, they were possibly used every now and then, but a mace makes a whole lot more sense. So I think there is room for improvement. And I'm not saying this game is bad um, by any means. I think the balancing could have been better. And next time, if they do make a front or two, I'm just buying it for PC. I, I, I'm not doing it on console because of the way they've balanced this game. Um, but that's something I've learned. The other thing that I think they should try to do is if they're going to continue with for Honor, um, just for Honor 1 here, you know, not for Honor 2, for Honor three wherever the hell they're gonna go right i think they need to make a uh, cross save i said the same thing about rainbow i think if you like for me for instance i'm rep 282 i think i should be 282 if i go on to pc i don't see the hurt in it you know what i mean it's not like my feats are gonna magically be stronger no it doesn't make any sense why you can't have a cross save if i'm using the same ubisoft connect it makes no sense why I wouldn't be able to carry everything over. And that's the entire reason I don't enjoy playing on PC. If I go to PC, I have to restart everything, and I just don't want to do that. I got Warden to, like, rep 7 or 8. Cool, cool, I got some cool armor, and then I just said, fuck it, and I, I just I haven't played since. And I think that moving forward with the new gen consoles, all that kind of stuff, I do think this game is going to eventually start feeling very dated i feel like the game will play a little bit better especially on the new consoles but it's going to end up being a dated type of fighting game and there are legacy games okay so for instance if for honor this is another option and this goes into the fantasy idea okay what if they took all of the characters that we have right here and they don't you know change them they don't have to do any of that all they do is a graphical upgrade 
and then they bring back the maps. It's basically a remaster, but they're going to call it For Honor 2, and these are your base starting characters. And based, and I would prefer, based on what level you are here, it carries over, but I don't know if they're really going to let that happen. But rather than just restarting or keeping this game going with the way it it's going now, maybe they would just be able to do all the graphical upgrades, make everything a little more consistent, um, and then they could add new maps, and they could just make it cross, you know, dimensional type stuff where we have people from the future, people from the past, medieval. Um, you could have fantasy characters. I think they just need to broaden their horizons a little bit. I get that all the characters are going to eventually end up feeling too similar, which is why I said they should just go in one direction, but a fourth option is where they keep the main roster here but start add, adding um, further back in history, uh, you know, in future or fantasy settings. I don't think they're going to be able to continue doing what they're currently doing, especially at the rate that they're currently doing it. I mean, it seems to take forever for a new hero to come out. It takes forever for a new map to come out. And just to put it bluntly, I haven't played this season at all. I just, I found it to be boring. I didn't find any of the weapon skins interesting. I, I didn't, I just didn't find anything of interest this entire season, and I had no reason to play it. And doing battle passes makes sense from a company standpoint, but you gotta have something in there that's worth doing. And I think the problem is they're running out of ideas for aesthetics. They're running out of ideas for characters. Which is why I said eventually we have to start thinking about a For Honor 2. And if they do a For Honor 2, I feel like fantasy or moving forward or backward in time and just starting from scratch is probably going to be their best bet. Will, will it end up just as good as this game? I don't know. Personally, I think this game started to go a little downhill on console. Yes, it's still playable, but it's... It's rough sometimes. People with 100 latency on console, it's it's virtually unplayable. You just don't see anything happen. You're just taking damage, but there's no indicators. There's nothing. They're not moving. You're not moving. It's just you're taking damage. And I think that they, they really need to just figure out what they're doing in the future. I would love to see a second game. Personally, this is a very unique system and a very unique fighting system. And I would love to see something in the future. But as it stands right now, me and most of my friends, I come back, you know, for you guys. And I am down for any video requests you guys have. But as far as the game in a whole and playing with my friends, most of them just deem it as a waste of time at this point. And granted, granted, I, my friends are, you know, super high rep on all their characters. Like, my friend Ghost, he's 70 on this guy, 60 on this one, 50 here, you know, just... 40 there it's just he's played enough where he's like all right but i have all the cool looks what uh, what am i really playing for anymore i'm just playing for enjoyment but if you get in a laggy game or you get in into like a guy with a script we've come across a couple of them where they just parry anything and everything in front of them those those are the reasons you start to get annoyed or if you're in the 4v4 ganking scenarios it's just on console, it's not the best experience. On PC, it, it still feels perfectly fine. But for future reference, let me know what you guys think down below. Should they continue doing For Honor the way they are now and just keep adding characters and see how long they can get it to last, similar to Rainbow, where they, they're going to go for, you know, six years, see how, see how long they can last? Or do you think they should start considering possibly making a new game where they go into the future, past fantasy what would you guys like to see i'd love to hear from you guys let me know down below and if you have any other video requests whether it's talking gameplay whatever let me know and if you guys want me to try out any other games let me know as well i saw chivalry came out although i didn't i don't have anything in my steam wallet right now to get it but let me know anyways i'll see you guys later thanks for watching and please let me know what you guys think down below